Namaste. So this video is kind of like a self-help video, I suppose is the best way to describe it. And I've been doing a lot of uh, research recently on the aura and the aura that surrounds us, our, our energy body linked to the chakras, but also on how what goes on in our energies affects us physically. Now the aura is is like um, a body that surrounds us. That's as an energy layers of seven layers of energy, and the closer ones to us are more about the physical. The further ones away from us are more about the spiritual. Now energy itself can be called prana, which is what I've been calling it for years. Um, from India, that's what they call it in India. In Japan, they call it ki. And in China, they call it Qi. So we've all heard of this energy. And there is absolutely no doubt that it exists. And quite a few people that I've already studied um, have been finding science-based things to do with the aura, to do with the energy, to do with the chakras. And they're called Valerie Hunt and Candice Pert. So if you want to know a little bit more, go and research them, especially Valerie, Valerie Hunt. She's done some amazing work. But I'm reading this book at the moment and it's called Reiki for Life and it's by Penelope Quest. So I just want to read this to you. And when I'm reading this to you, I want you to think about how we've all been affected by the outside influences that are going on at the moment. Now, I'm not for one second saying that we're doing this to ourselves. What's going on around us in the outside world, whether we think it's affecting us or not, it is there is no way that we cannot be affected by it. I don't care if you are on a farm and you're in the middle of nowhere and you never see anybody. Just the very fact that you can't do much and that you know that we're all aware of what's going on is going to affect your aura, is going to affect your mental, your emotional, your spiritual. You can't get away from that. So this is what I found really interesting. Every negative thought you have ever had, every negative word you have spoken, and every negative action you have performed will have had an effect on your aura and whole energy body. Even reading the newspapers, which are usually filled with negative news, or watching violent or horror movies or television programmes, have a dampening effect on your energy field. All of these things will lower your body's vibrations or life force. But fortunately, we are able to take in more life force or key every day. And thankfully, our lives are not normally filled with only negative experiences. The positive experiences we have, the love and affection we receive from our family and friends, the pleasure we feel from watching children or, or a sunset, or the satisfaction of a creative project or success at work, they will all contribute to raising our vibrations or key. So, Normally, the key is balanced out in our lifetime for most of the time. Now, that's what I find really interesting because a lot of the things that we would normally use, which will raise our vibrations, which will balance out the key, we are not allowed to do. So if you're not allowed to see family, if you're not allowed to see friends, it's going to make it much more difficult in order to be able to balance out the negative that we are experiencing. It is therefore only usually in major traumas and significant negative experiences that actually have the opportunity to damage our energy field beyond our normal ability to replenish or repair it. So, basically, because of everything that we're experiencing at the moment, our energy field, our auras, will be affected there's no getting away from that. But what we need to do, because we have been in a heightened sense of trauma now for 12 months. I'm sorry, but whether you think you're affected, you have been. Because you might not have sensed it as yet. It might not have affected you mentally or emotionally as yet. But it will have affected your aura. That will have happened. And so what you do need to try and do is bring things into your life that are positive, that are going to start to balance out that energy, balance out that chi. And that is, even if it's by Zoom, by 
um, staying in touch with family, staying in touch with friends. If you can't go and see them, then have Zoom parties. But you have to find a way in which that you can balance out this energy because the energy, the, the layers of your body, they, they of your aura, sorry, they contain all of the information about you, including your past experiences, your your potential, all the things that you could achieve. Everything about you is con in contained in these auras, these layers, these seven layers that are surrounding us. So just like Penelope Quest has said in that book, we will be affected, whether you think it or not, we will have been affected. So please, please try and bring more positive things into your life. It doesn't matter what it is, go and see the sunset or get up really early, drive somewhere and watch the sunrise, get out in nature, do something that is going to allow you to balance out the negative chi with a positive chi so we aren't really heavily weighed down by the negative. So, Hope you found that helpful or interesting.